right, hey Ty, thank you. Well, it is Friday, and if it's been a long day for you at the job, a long week, kids acting up, or you just wanna let your hair down, you might wanna enjoy an old fashioned whiskey sour, even a Manhattan. Today is National Cocktail Day, and Michael Stouter, food and beverage manager at the Royal Sinesta Chase Park Plaza, St. Louis, joins us live now with some ways you can shake or stir up your day at the Preston. Good morning to you. Good morning, Thanks, thank you for having me. All right, so uh, tell us what you guys have going on. You have reopened a yes. restaurant and uh, people can come and stop by and hang out with you guys. Yeah, so I'm with the Preston, which is a restaurant within the Chase Park Plaza. Okay. Uh, we just reopened for dinner, and we're really happy to be there and share some cocktails with you. Okay, and you got some new cocktails that you'll be serving up. So tell us a little bit about the ones you have prepared already. Yeah, so we have a new cocktail list coming out with a new dinner menu. Okay. Um, this is actually an original cocktail from when the Preston was open for dinner all those years ago. It's been on the menu forever. Okay. It's called Goodnight Mr. Preston. Right. It is a bourbon-based cocktail, essentially in Manhattan. So we take bourbon, a little bit of sweet vermouth, some bitters that we add benedictine which is a spiced herb liqueur out of france mm. we just serve it on the rocks and okay. it is delicious all right gotcha then I, this is more of my style right here looks, yeah it's kind of pretty looks like it might be sweet you know yeah what's this one? so i'm really fond of this cocktail actually it is an aperol sour okay so you take aperol which is familiar it's an italian bitter liqueur and it pairs very well with citrus so we okay. pair it with some fresh lemon juice and some fresh orange juice mm. um, and we shake that up with an egg white just to add a little frothiness to the martini okay just to make it a little yeah and uh, pair it with a little lemon twist. Okay, I like that. And then you are gonna prepare one for I us. Am. Let's yes. see it, let's see it. So this is our Honey We're Home cocktail. Let's okay. just signify that we're back open and excited to be here. So we take a I little like gin. You can take a gin of preference, do an ounce of that. Mm -hmm. Take some Lillet Blanc, which is a white wine liqueur out of France. Do an ounce and a half of that. And you're just gonna do an ounce of honey rosemary syrup. Okay. So you just take equal parts sugar, water, honey, and rosemary. And you shake that up with some ice. Oh, look at him with the, oh. the, the bartender <laughs> skills. Yeah. <laughs> All nice right. Chilled. You just strain that out. Beautiful. Love and it. This and then this is to celebrate preference. you guys being back on. Yeah, here. and this is all preference. I like to top it with a little bit of club soda just okay. to give a little. Okay, sparkle little, to it. A little sparkle <laughs> to it. All right, so we can enjoy these drinks. I probably can't right now because I'm on the clock, but if we want to come see you guys, tell us really quickly. You have breakfast and you're serving dinner as well. Tell us when yes. we can come visit. So dinner, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 5 to 10 p.m. And we also offer breakfast, which will be 6 to 10, 15 a.m. Monday through Friday and brunch Saturday and Sunday, 7 to noon. Awesome. Thank you so much for yeah, coming in to visit you. us and making us these drinks, shaking it all up for us. If you'd like to hear that interview again, go to our website, fox2now.com. It's National Cocktail Day. You might have had a long week, so enjoy your some.